Hello everybody and welcome back uh, to Oh Mori. Alrighty. So in this episode we are going to continue along in our adventure, and you might notice I'm a tiny bit higher level than what I was in the previous episode. Don't worry, I didn't go overkill in the farming again. <laughs> um and I know some of you might be wondering, Hey Shadow, why did you go all the way back to Life Jam Guy to buy Life Jam? You know you could just get the hero discount with the mailbox guy, right? Well, 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 my eagle-eyed viewer, you're completely correct. However, I'm all about that value, right? And so, <clears throat> here's what I got. Hero reduces it from 300 to 270. That's pretty good. However, Life Jam Guy is 250. So, I'm saving on all the big value. So, <laughs> we're going to very quickly go to a couple places that I need to go. Um, and then we are going to continue along. But, let me show you some stuff I got. We got a bunch of tofu. Uh, not much bread. We got a good amount of chocolate. We got some cherry soda. And that's pretty much it. We also got five life jam. I figured five should be enough. We got a few skills for our people. Um, we got trick, obviously, but you saw that one. We got mood wrecker, which is yet another new ability for Aubrey. Kel got Ricochet, which seems okay, but I'm kind of thinking Flex Renegun might just be better. And then the Hero got something that I wish I had last episode, which is... Homemade Jam brings back a friend that is toast. Yep. So, we're here... Uh, we're here at the train stop. Because I wanted to check on him. Hello, fellow bunny hater. By looking into your eyes, I can see that you have killed 68 bunnies. Splendid. I see you've destroyed more bunnies. At 68 bunnies obliterated. Thank you so much, fellow bunny hater. You got a rabbit foot. Now go on and destroy more bunnies. So I think that was it. Yeah, I don't think he actually has anything else for us. I think we've actually managed to max him out. So 50 seems to be it. By the way, what's up with all the bees? Uh. We'll get up soon. Just give me a bit. Okay. Lemonade! Hello, Slayer Madam. It looks like we've run out of trade passes, but we still have some lemonade left. Did you want to buy lemonade? Uh... I'll get one. Sweet. The total will be 100 clams. Thank you for your patronage. Okay. Well, now we can actually walk past. Hi. Stop right there! You can't pass without a... Whoa. That's a train pass. You must be the last passengers. We've been waiting for you for a very long time. Well, that's an all clear for me. Welcome aboard, patrons. Okay, but I don't actually want to go on the train yet. You got plum juice. Okay. You got a sparkler. Nice. What's up with the bees? It's a blessing to exist. <laughs> I, yeah, I guess. Hi, kids! I'm Gibbs, the stationary musician. I used to be a traveling musician, but I left that life a long time ago. Would you be able to spare five clams? They would be a great help, and I, since I have completion, this statue every year. Thank you for your donation. Now, return, let me play a song about people. Wait, okay, so. You thought the song was pretty good. So I didn't mention it in the last episode. I probably should have gone a little bit more in detail with it. But 
it seems like there's a lot of parallels between the worlds. Obviously, the most obvious one to me was Pluto, which was that, like, old man in the pizza shop. So, this is clearly the guy who wants to get out of town in the other world. Huh. How strange. Whoa. I, I, mm. I don't know if I want to get on the train yet, though. Uh, I mean, we did just save. Alright. Do you want to board the train? Sure. Whoa. Hey, it's all the shadow guy. Where is home? Home is not here. Home here is not home. A case full of crosses. Here is not home, but where is home? Here is not where the home is. Here is not where the home is. Oh boy. Can't see. Sorry, I moved the mic a little bit. A bag full of berries. So there's stuff watching us now. The train is moving. Okay. Case full of little bones? What? Case full of crystals. Berries. What is that? Is that a deer? You gonna fight us? Oh! Oh boy. Everyone's afraid. Nobody can use skills except Amori. Sunny. Okay, we did some really, really good damage on it though. The attack whiffed. That is amazing. 78. 39. Hero still doesn't do a whole lot. Okay, we almost got him. So, I think we were supposed to come here on the first loop. Um, I don't think we were supposed to come here quite so late. Sunny. 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 I don't think I've ever seen everybody afraid before. Sunny. I'm sorry. Sorry. Well, ladies and gents, we have arrived at our stop. Welcome to the Orange Oasis, for the moon shines brighter. Please exit the train in an orderly fashion. Thank you for your patronage, and please ride with us again. What was it sorry for? Toast. Huh. Well, I don't think it's a surprise. I was gonna say, I don't think it's a surprise that everyone's toast on the train. But at the same time, we had no reason to think that they were dead. Unless that thing got them, I suppose. Is it the air sweet here? You can smell the sugar. Uba! Oh, the weather's even hotter than before. Yeah, pretty fast, but not as fast as a train. It's important to know your limits. But look, he can start on easily, but he just needs someone to listen sometimes. And that someone is me. 
everyone here is so different and interesting. I wonder what makes me different and interesting. I was waiting for the train for so long. I can't even remember why I wanted to come here. <laughs> so those guys again. I spy with my little eye a rainbow umbrella with lots of legs. Chomp, chomp, chomp! Okay. I've never been to the stop before. I can't wait to explore Orange Oasis. Land possibilities. The Orange Oasis. I don't think we're supposed to be here yet. <laughs> Dino's dig. Well, no, we actually have a Pluto store. A Pluto store. We have a Pluto spot, so I guess we can be here, right? Not that saying we can't. I definitely want to go back to where we're supposed to be, though, especially because I have some things I want to uh, turn in. Ooh, an apple juice. Wow, it's a big apple. That, it is a big apple. A hard bulb. You can hear something struggling inside. That's the second one of these. Hang on. Okay, I kind of thought Aubrey maybe could smack it. Can Hero talk to it? No. Well, it was worth a try. I am stuck and cannot go down. <laughs> oh. oh, it's a cake bunny. Uh, well, I guess this will tell us if we're here too early. Or if we're here just on time. Okay, he's got a lot of health. Yeah, he's got a lot of health. That was a lot to get through. 300 XP, 60 clams. Um... Oh! Hi. Hey, Amori. Guess what? The sand here isn't sand at all. It's brown sugar. Now isn't that sweet? <laughs> it sure is hot out here, though. Remember to stay hydrated, everyone. What is that? An orange? Oh yeah, it's an orange and orange juice. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah yes, some luscious candy apples. Would you like to eat some? You and your friends feel like new. Let's have a picnic. The brown sugar feels good on my feet. I almost want to pick it off and eat it. That's disgusting, Kel. Why would you even think that? You're so weird. We all have weird thoughts sometimes. Kel just doesn't think before he says them out loud. Hey, I, I consider that a good thing. If you got something to say, then say it. That's just wrong, Kel. You should always think before you speak. Have some self-awareness. Says who? You, Miss Bossy Pants? I have plenty of self-awareness. I know where I am at all times. Yeesh. Loosen up, you two. Balance, guys. It's all about balance. Hero, you coward. That's the laziest answer I've ever heard. I expected better from you. Ah, oh, man. What'd I say now? <clears throat> so, <laughs> you might notice that we're a little bit lower level suddenly. Well, uh, <laughs> so, after way too long about being salty about it, <sighs> I have decided to redo this segment. So, TLDR of what happened. 
I went through a big part of the sequence that's coming up. And, uh, you know, we got through it about two hours worth of uh, footage. And, you know, it was going well. Collected all the things, fought all the guys, explored all the places. However, as I was going to end the video, uh, <laughs> I, you know, I was doing the outro saying, All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Blah, blah, blah. And as it turns out, the video file corrupted. So at first I was thinking, okay, well, corruptions have happened in the past. You know, I could just do a little voiceover. It'll be whatever. It was not whatever. Not only can I not open the file, because it is in fact that broken that it's not even recognized by Windows, I couldn't put it into my video editor, because my video editor also didn't recognize it. So at that point, I was like, okay, this video is actually broken. I need to figure out a way to fix this. So I then proceeded to go on a wild goose chase trying to figure out how I was going to get this video working. Now, luckily, it... Well, the part you've already seen is where we actually had what we had, but uh, right here is where I believe it corrupted from. So this is like the start of the corruption, and then... Um, Past this is where it stopped being corrupted, or where it started being corrupted, you, you know what I mean. So, I tried every freaking video repair under the sun, and none of it worked. So then I sat on it for a while. I was like, man, this is... I really just don't even want to play Amori after that. But, after a long time... I've decided to finally get back into the swing of it and see what we can possibly do. Now, we are extremely... Uh, actually, from the save, we'll be going back to. Because, like I said, I explored all the places, did all the things, collected all the goods. So, we're definitely going to go back to that. However, this is just the catching up save. Because, silly me, I saved over um, our save slot thinking it had all recorded fine. So now we need to redo it, which means we lost all our farming. Because <sighs> we were level 17, 18 at this point. Uh, yeah, we're five levels under that, but it'll be fine. So <laughs> it's not going to be my initial reactions. Um, I really, really, really tried to salvage that, but unfortunately, that's how it goes sometimes. I'm still a little bit salty about it, but we are going to push through, and we're just going to see what we can do. Alrighty, here we go. <laughs> um, I'm probably not going to be super, super exploratory, because like I said, we are going to go back to the actual save. Um, this is just the sort of catch-up bit. Also, my voices are going to be a little bit off. <sighs> But that's okay. <sighs> also, I'm not going to make the same mistake that I've been making. I've turned my fans off, even if it means I have to overheat and die to do it. <sighs> so, there's a bunch of soulless sprout moles just all over the ground. But I'm sure that's fine. See? It's totally fine. That jump scared me the first time it happened. <laughs> okay, so it's time to do this fight severely underleveled. So, let's see, always ignores defense, is always a crit. Okay, let's make self sad. Um, let's see, Aubrey, 
Make Aubrey and a friend happy. Let's make Aubrey and Kel happy. Let's have Kel flex. By the way, we do not have the extra speed trinket anymore. I know, very, uh, very unfortunate. Let's smile, King Crawler. Hey. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, yeah! I feel sad. Oh. You can do it! Uh-oh. A sprout ball appears. Oh, this is gonna be problematic. Um. Hang on, hang on. I have a chart. Okay, so the fact we have two people that are happy is actually a good thing. Um, issue. Ooh, he's kind of... Yeah. All right, let's do twirl. Uh, we just got run and gun. We could do rebound. However, I'm going to run and gun. And then um, let's remove that emotion. Wow, that did nothing. Waka! 99. Oh my god. That was a dull attack. King Crawler comes down. King Crawler eats a sprout mole. Yum. King Crawler recovered 200 health. Bro, what? Um, if the foe is angry, that would have been a smart thing to use. Ah! Okay, alright, no, 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 it's okay, it's alright. Um, we're sad, so we deal extra damage versus happy. Um, go for a regular attack. Go for another flex. Uh, let's reduce his attack one more time. Hey. There we go. Oh, yeah! Let's look at Amori. One more time. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I love that little interaction. Aubrey attacks harder! Oh! Okay, we're fine. Only 14 damage. Oh, my God! Those are big hits! Okay. Here I was thinking we were severely underleveled. As it turns out, we were actually fine. And we're gonna finish it with ye old run and gun. Ha <laughs> ha! No spider's gonna be able to deal with that. Nice. You found the sprout mold masks. Amori grew to 14. Aubrey grew to 14. And learned power hit. Kel grew to 13. Hero grew to level 14. <laughs> oh, my voices are so off right now. It, it's been like over maybe two months. <laughs> That's okay. I'm gonna save. Alrighty, we saved. It's time to continue along. I don't... Yeah, we're just doing a little bit of a speed run, so... Uh, <laughs> don't worry. If there's loot, I've already gotten it. We just haven't gotten it right now. Welcome to the Sprout Mole Village. Nice. Oh, no. <laughs> Almost went directly upwards. That wouldn't have been good. Wait. We gotta have everyone lined up. Here we go. Hi, Murray. These Sprout Moles are such funny little creatures. I just want to pick one up and squish it. <laughs> Did you know sprout moles really love tofu? I bought some tofu at a tofu stand earlier. Feel free to try some. You got tofu. Wow. What? It only restores like what? One health or something? Hang on. Pocket snacks. Tofu. Soft cardboard basically heals five hearts. Even worse than I thought. <laughs> You there! Fidget, fidget, fidget. Hush, hush, hush. Yeah, he's doing something. Alright, well, we better make use of our tickets. Ah, hello, strange-looking sprout molds. 
Are you here to see Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts? If so, you've come to the right place. This sold-out extravaganza spectacular will be starting very shortly. Wait a second, I know this show. We have front row show tickets for it. Ah, I can see it now. A dazzling epic tale about the hardships of romance. Heartbreak, betrayal, desperation, loneliness. Oh, the drama. This is going to be so fun. I can't wait to be swept off my feet. I don't know. I guess it looks interesting. But now it doesn't seem like the right time. But you promised we could earlier. Please, hero, we should at least check it out. Please, 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 please. <laughs> well, all right. Hopefully this won't take too long. Ahem. <clears throat> if I may have your show tickets, please. Yes, yes, of course, Mr. Sprout Mole, sir. We have our tickets right here. <clears throat> I know my Aubrey voice is definitely a little bit off. Aubrey reached into your pocket and took out the show tickets. Here you go, Mr. Sprout Mole. Oh. Oh, my. I can't believe my eyes. These are front row tickets. You, you all must have made some great sacrifices to be here today. I applaud you. Forgive me for calling you strange looking earlier. At a second glance, you four are the most normal looking sprout moles I have ever seen. Please enjoy your front row seats, fellow looking, fellow normal looking sprout moles. Alright, time to go. It's time for a show of drama, loneliness, betrayal, and all of the other things. <laughs> Just a little chirping of all the sprout moles. Uh. Wow, look at this huge stage. It's just as amazing as I imagined. Let's take our seats. It looks like the show's about to start. Are you ready to take your front row seats? Yeah, I guess. I suppose... Ladies and gentle moles, welcome to a special episode of Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. Before our show, we wanted to take a moment to honor the life of someone who has been an inspiration to us all. Our beloved, our beloved leader, Ye Old Sprout. He was truly the father that none of us deserved. Let us have a moment of silence in memory of him. May he rest in peace. Well, that's enough of that. <laughs> and now, on to the show! Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. Last time on Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts, our favorite princess, once again, failed to fall in love with any of our eligible bachelors. This time, we've rounded up three new, very attractive contestants. Will one of them be able to capture Sweetheart's Hearts? Let's reveal them now. Contestant number one is a local of the Sprout Mole Village. He's coming in at three feet tall. His favorite food is tofu. He has a huge collection of plastic flamingos and enjoys long walks through narrow tunnels. 
give it up for contestant number one. Yay. <laughs> contestant number two is, yep, you guessed it. Also a local of Sprout Mole Village. Careful, he's coming in hot at three feet and one whole inch. His hobbies include walking, running, and crawling. His favorite color combination is brown and green, and he spends his weekends rolling around in dirty laundry. Mmm, spicy. Give it up for contestant number two! He gets no applause from me. He's not good enough for our sweetheart. <laughs> and now for something completely different. Contestant number three comes all the way from over or other world. I was gonna say overworld. It's like he just fell out of the sky. Literally. According to him and us, that makes him a catch. Give it up for Sna Sna Snaily. Snail Snally. Snally. Wow. You're not gonna applaud the the best character in other world? Okay, I see how it is. And now, it's a moment you've all been waiting for. Dim the lights, please. She emits beauty. She exudes grace. She truly has the most poultry-chewed in his face. Yes, you know who we're talking about. She's all that is amazing and wonderful, and she is just about to set foot on this very stage. Please, give a big warm welcome to... The one, the only, the magnificent, Sweetheart! There's a blackout. <laughs> I'm gonna totally ignore the fact that Snally just freaking died, but you know, it's super dark now, I guess. Now what do we do? I have to know what happens next. Let's wait it out. I'm sure the Sprout Moles will get the power back on in no time. Help, you don't know what to do. Help, you don't know what to do either. Help. 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 Help! Help! Mm. Uh, well, maybe we should look around just in case. <laughs> Hero is not enjoying himself. <laughs> He's like, uh, I, I, hmm. Oh! Wow. I guess the blackout affected all of Sprout Mole Village, too. Hero, what do we do now? Don't worry, Aubrey. This is where my handyman expertise comes into play. In cases like this, we should probably be looking for... some kind of backup generator. What do you have to say? Please enjoy your front row seat, fellow looking. All right, nothing, uh, nothing of note to say. What about Mari? Nope, nothing new. You should totally smile more. Okay, now we've saved. Time to continue along. Now, where, oh, where would a sprout mall generator be? Hmm. Maybe he knows. Uh. We are two! We are one! We are Twan? Hmm. <laughs> uh, I believe it's down more. Let's see. We're bound to find what we're looking for eventually. Oh! Swish, swish, swish. He. Uh, hmm. We'll just ignore that. Ah, spring. Spring brings us beauty. Spring brings us joy. Spring brings us life. 
Spring brings us a rejuvenating spirit to start things anew. Spring is the best season, don't you agree? I agreed with this the first time. Oh, poo on you. Ah, summer. The sand. The sun. The beach. The waves. Not to mention summer vacation. Finally, some time for relaxation. That's what life is all about. Summer is the best season, wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Right on, brother. Summer is the best. So thrilled, do you agree? Here's a gift from me. Use it well. You got sunscreen. And got the second achievement out of four. <laughs> okay, so they all give an achievement based on who you uh, agree with. And we agreed with the uh, spring mole in the original one, because I didn't know what <laughs> what this choice was. Humph, I see that you have tossed your favor in the way of summer. You will receive no gifts from me. So what is this? Is it something we can equip? Let's see. Oh, well, we still have the cat ears. Actually, we should give that to Kel. Kel. Let's see. Embodies the spirit of summer. Heart plus 15. I mean... That's still pretty good. Oh, he does have the bunny ears. Wait, what? I could have sworn he didn't. Okay, well, hey, that works for me. Defense plus four. Uh, what gives more health? Effective health, rather. I mean, I would, I'm pretty sure 15 extra health is more health than defense. Because defense is just effective health at the end of the day. So, you know what? We'll just 15 more health. Easy. Down we go into the dips. Oh. Pick up the pace, boys. We must make haste. The tiger best, Walden. This, er. this is as fast as we can go. Why isn't this working? I feel sick. Just keep running, Moles. Nothing gets done without a little sweat. Mirror. <gasps> a floating mirror. Your friends smile warmly behind you. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, we weren't able to, uh, uh, we weren't able to <clears throat> end the OG version of this video at a mirror because I couldn't find one, but that's fine. This wire isn't plugged into the outlet. Plug it in? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> the little ba -ba. What I say, moles, hard work pays off. <coughs> now keep on running. <laughs> Apparently we can exercise here too. Do you want to exercise with your friends? Yeah. Nice. Kel going insane and Hero barely moving. And then uh, Aubrey and Amori just running normally. Oh! Hero. <laughs> He's like, I give up. You guys are. <sighs> My old man bones. They just. <laughs> they just can't handle it. Uh. Bam, 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 bam. Um, so yeah, like I mentioned earlier, this is not my first time seeing all this. That's why I'm uh, especially quiet, because I'm not able to give the first time reactions to it, unfortunately. But that's okay. Um, because we are actually catching up decently fast to where we left off. A uh, couple more areas to go, and then we will uh, should be back to where we were. Oh man, I totally forget the voice I gave for uh, an upcoming thing. Oh, I thought it was a cutscene, that's why it wasn't moving. Someone, please help me. I am in need of a handsome young gentleman. You, yes. You there in the striped pants. You magnificent beast. Yes, ho 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 ho, yes, you look like you'll do just fine. Huh? Oh, wow, uh, 
I thank you. I, I don't know what to say. Please, kind sir, will you help out a poor lonely mole? I am desperately in need of your service. Well, since you asked so nicely, how can I refuse? Thank you, thank you, young lad. You are too generous. Please come this way now, chop chop. Wait, hold on. Can my friends come too? Ah, yes, your friends. You are all here to see Sweetheart's Quest, yes. If so, you will all meet again soon enough. Now come, sir. We must make haste. Time is short. Heroes left the party. <laughs> oh, we can't even tag anymore because of that. <laughs> oh, are you ready to take your front row seats? Yeah. Greetings, sweetheart fans. We apologize for the short intermission. Welcome back to our regularly scheduled program. During the break, we forgot to inform you that a tragic accident has occurred right here, on this very stage. <laughs> it is at this time that we announce the sudden loss of contestant number three. We will remember him fondly for the few seconds that we got to know him. He was truly a unique and irreplaceable soul. Well, anyway. But the show must go on! Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. Please give a warm welcome to our new contestant number three. Hailing all the way from the vast forest, it's our hero in shining armor. Look at this, guys. Hero's a real hunk, standing at a whopping 5'7". His passions <laughs> include baking, cooking, and cleaning. And if that doesn't sound like the perfect man, check out his killer smile and mild personality. <laughs> you don't seem to be doing well up there, Mr. Hero. And now, once again, it's time to introduce the star of the show. Dip the lights, please! She emits beauty. She exudes grace. She truly has the most pultricinuitous face. Oh man, that's a hard word. Yes! You know who we're talking about! She's all that is amazing and wonderful, and she is about to set foot on this very stage. She's the one, the only, the magnificent. An excellent entrance, my liege! Oh god, I cannot for the life of me... Actually, no, I remember having this exact same dilemma, that I do not know what voice to give Sweetheart that would possibly go with what she's got. I don't think I have the vocal range to deal with it. <sighs> Maybe I should, uh, oh, well, I just got an idea, but I don't think it's a very good one. See, ideally, I want, like, something sort of cutie, but, um, yeah, Aubrey's kind of already got the girl voice of mine, so, <laughs> yes, it is me. <clears throat> okay, just as I started... <laughs> Sinking into her voice, I got pulled away, so I've immediately forgotten it. Hello, my stupid adoring fans! Maybe we'll do that. I wanted to do a more girl turn, but... Girl... <sighs> tone, but... I, uh... I think that'll work. We love you, sweetheart! You're the best! I'm not even gonna attempt to do that. Oh, sweetheart! We have brought three of the best bachelors in the world onto this stage. 
<laughs> Will today be the one that one of them steals your heart? <clears throat> Let's start with some questions. One thing that Sweetheart values most in a companion is complete and absolute obedience. Do you, contestant number one, agree to pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Contestant number one! What is your answer? Uh, sure. <clears throat> I don't... I don't know. I guess. Playing hard to get, I see. What do you think about that response, sweetheart? <laughs> Her face darkened. Hmm, just three feet tall. No, no, no I, I don't think this is the one. No, this, this won't do. No, this is not the one. Maybe if we can, uh, hmm. Normally I don't leave me trying to figure a voice in, but you know what? I think it's funny. <laughs> Maybe if we were, we were to do. Nope. God, I cannot find a voice that I think would be good for her. Ah, with such a special, beautiful, and just downright amazing character. <laughs> you gotta have the right voice. <laughs> oh, I, don't, <coughs> I don't think I got it in me. Um, We could go with like a very, just three feet tall. But I want it to be a little bit more high pitched than that. Just three feet tall? My, that is much too short. Send him off to the dungeon. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, wh what did you say? The dungeon? Oh. <laughs> to the dungeon with you. Oh. Uh. <laughs> And away he goes. Now up to contestant number two. We ask you the same question. There's no right or wrong answer, just answer truthfully. Contestant number two. Will you pledge your allegiance to sweetheart for the rest of your life? Well, uh sure. If it means I won't get sent to the dungeon. My word, this one his very being offends me. Take him away, boys! <laughs> oh, he didn't get very far. He tried. <clears throat> Contestant number three, it looks like you're the last one standing. I'll ask the same question one more time. Again. No pressure at all. Do you, hero, agree to pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Well, no, that doesn't seem fair at all. Why would I do that? My, this one, he's absolutely immaculate. <clears throat> Could it be? His sweetheart in love? What an exciting turn of events. This must be fate, a match made in heaven. Wait, but I just said... Ah, yes, you... Yes, yes, you'll do just fine. Nope, that's a bit more Mari again. Uh, now, what was your name again? Huh? It, it's, uh... It's Zero, ma'am. Hero! Hero! No, uh, wait a minute, I think we're onto something. My hero! We must go to my chambers at once. Gods, I have chosen my suitor. Take him away! <laughs> Guys, please, do something. Whoa, Hero's gonna marry Sweetheart? I didn't see that one coming at all. Cal, what are you saying? We have to help him. What do you want me to do about it? I don't want to go to the dungeon. Ah, oh, 
Kill. You're so useless. Hero! You have to reject, sweetheart! It's time, Hero. Your princess awaits. Uh, I don't think she's going to listen to me. Just do it already! Hmm. Okay. I'll try. Uh, excuse me, uh, sweetheart, ma'am. Ah, yes, my lovely hero. How I yearn for the sound of your sweet voice. Say my name again. Whoa, <laughs> that's so nice of you. I mean... Uh, why do I have to do this? <clears throat> I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I'm not interested. Why, whatever do you mean, my prince? I... Uh, uh, mm. This is all really flattering and all, but, you know, we, we only just met, like, a few moments ago, and, well, I have to reject your, um, offer? Oh, pish posh. Don't be silly, hero. I've never heard anything sillier. It, it's true. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I don't want to marry you. Oh, <laughs> just immediately. This, this is preposterous. No, this, this is blasphemy. <laughs> this is madness. You dare reject, sweetheart? Everyone loves sweetheart, you hear me? Everyone! Send him off to the dungeon! Hey! Stop right there! You can't take Hero, he belongs to us! What's this now? What is a non-sweetheart fan doing in the audience? Ah, I see. You must be Hero's' fans. The nerve of you lot. First you make a fool out of me, then you, you interrupt me during my own show. I'm the one who makes the rules around here. Guards, take them away! Uh-oh. Oh, now you've done it, Aubrey. <laughs> Just immediately. Ugh. Oh, man. Now we're all stuck in the dungeon. Sorry, guys. It's my fault we're all in this mess. No, it's not, Hero. No one could have predicted that would happen. Ho 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 ho! You fools! Don't you recognize me? It's me, Rosa, the number one sweetheart fan in the world. I told you that you'd all pay for crossing me. Curses, we've been bamboozled. I should have known you were behind this, Rosa. It's true what they say, revenge is sweet. Now rot, you peons, rot in the dungeon forever. Dang it. How are we ever going to get out of here? We'll find a way. <clears throat> Come on, guys. Let's think about this. Where do we even start? It's not like they just leave the gate unlocked. Would they? <laughs> okay. Stealth segment time. We can't... Okay, we can, but we shouldn't let ourselves be caught. We're going... <laughs> Easy. Trap door. Wait a minute, there's ramen noodles in the toilet. Why, why? Why is there always ramen in the freaking toilet? I don't, <laughs> I don't understand.
Hey, it's Mari. Mari, Mari, help us. We're stuck in the dungeon. Oh no. There you go. Now come here and enjoy a nice picnic with me. I promise you'll feel better right away. <clears throat> oh, Mari voice is a little off. That's all right. We're, get, we're getting back in the swing of it. Wait a minute. Aubrey. Smash. You got tofu. Nice. Smash. We got nothing. <laughs> hey, gang. Seems like you're all stuck in a little pickle. So, I snuck in some pickles. Hee <laughs> hee. Ah, yuck. I hate pickles. Next time, can you sneak in some jam instead? Pickles. Ah, yes, pickles. Would you like to eat some? Yeah. You know what? The only pickles that I just do not like at all is sweet pickles. Ah, sweet pickles are just gross. A pickle to me is sour. If it's not sour, it's not a pickle. It's just a weird cucumber. <laughs> Hero, I have a question for you. Was there any chance in the world you would have said yes to marrying Sweetheart? What? No way. You know I only have eyes for you, Mari. Ugh. You is right, Kel. <laughs> Hero. That's not what I like about you at all. What? It's not? Then what is it? I can't tell you that, silly. It would ruin the magic. Okay. I don't really get it. But whatever you say. Hi. <clears throat> you don't have to worry about Sweetheart at all. Sweetheart is the worst. I can't imagine anyone being in love with her. Wasn't she with Captain Spaceboy, though? <laughs> Relationships like that are just shallow. You can't compare it to the real deal. Like what me and Amori have. Isn't that right, Amori? That's absolutely right. Amori? <laughs> just a dead silence. Oh, Aubrey. You poor, poor thing. All right. Time to save. Um, well, we literally can't go any other direction, so we're going up here. Wait, we need to be Aubrey. <laughs> Smash! 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 One more. Smash! You got tofu. I got sent to the dungeon for smuggling, but old habits die hard. That's it, I've got some Joyce Goose for sale, patron. Interested in buying? Tofu. Jax. Mango smoothie poetry book. The Life Jam. Eh. Nothing of note. Alright, let's wait for him to go by. And... Go! <laughs> ah! Okay, we're good. Hello. Uh. Oh no, what are we going to do? No one ever escapes the dungeon. Oh no, what are we going to do? No one ever escapes the dungeon. Well, we'll be the first. Skeleton. It is not alive. I would hope not. <laughs> I would certainly hope it's not alive. That would be scary. Oh, right. Okay, we'll come back to that one. Uh, where's Kel? There's Kel. Hello. Alright, I've got this. We are! Nice. Okay, now we could just run all the way back over here and go this way. Do these? No, okay, we can't interact with the eyeballs in the uh, walls. That's fine. However, we can interact with this. Hey ya! Okay, now we gotta run all the way back there. Alrighty, now that we've ran all the way back there. Oh, 
<laughs> Why does he explode? He didn't deserve that. <laughs> oh well. Nice. Look at that. We're basically good to go already. I'm swapping. Yeah, I'm swapping back to Aubrey. She's the best character in the group. Uh, we could save here. Oh, could save here, but I don't think we need to. I think we'll be fine. Watermelon! You got tofu. Wow, amazing. Yes! We've broken out of Sweetheart's prison with absolutely no difficulty. Look there! We're finally at the exit! Woohoo! Freedom at last! Ugh. Let's get out of here. I never want to see another sprout mole again in my life. Oh no. Sweetheart's Castle. This is probably the worst place for us to be. <laughs> the dungeon! Halt, prisoners! Did you really think that you could escape that easily? It's back to the dungeon for you four. Darn, and we were so close, too. Uh-oh, what do we do now? Think, hero, think. Come on, how do we get out of this? Oh, I got it. On the contrary, Sir Knight. I think you have mistaken us for someone else. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Hem, hem. Don't be so quick to judge. We are sprout moles. Indubitably. Hoo-hoo. Indeed. Ah, yes. Quite. I am also a lover of tofu and sweetheart. Hmm. Delicious sweetheart. Uh, uh, tofu. E God, my eyes must have deceived me. I apologize, brethren. It is rather hard to see through this helmet. Very well, carry on then. I will resume my patrol. You lot ought to return to your stations as well, lest our dear sweetheart notices. Well, see you later. <laughs> How's that for some quick thinking? That was so smooth, hero. With these sprout mole masks, we'll be able to make it out of here in a cinch. Do we really have to keep wearing these, Hero? Mine is getting kind of itchy. Well, yeah, Kel. We should keep them on until we get out of here. Come on, let's move. Okay. So, I believe we can actually talk to people. Um as sprout moles now, and I don't think they're too bothered by us. Why are we not Aubrey? There we go, that's more like it. So, from memory, the save point is down this way, I think. Now we are still going to try, we are still going to try and uh, avoid sprout moles and stuff. Why was Pluto there? I don't know. You got me. I couldn't tell you why Pluto is there. Yeah, don't. So this room... We got an achievement in that room <clears throat> um, for doing like a perfect symphony or something. So <laughs> we've already done that, luckily for us. Um, like I said, I'm just trying to get back to where we were, uh, but that's okay. Oh. We actually uh, made the perfect cake in this place. Oh, my dear sous chefs, I'm afraid my back just can't take it anymore. 
it is at this unfortunate time that I announce my retirement. But wait, Chef. Without you, who will lead us in our task of baking a most magnificent cake for the main event? So, Chefs, it is now time for one of you to step up to the limelight. A cake must be baked today. Our very lives are on the line. Oh, yes, I hear you, Chief. As the most capable of us, I will volunteer and take charge of this task. I won't fail you, I promise. Cool. <laughs> ah! Hey, you there. You four are sous chefs now. Meet me in the kitchen, pronto. No, I don't think I will. I want to save instead. Hi, Murray. There sure are a lot of sprout moles here. And they all sure love Sweetheart. I tried offering one some food earlier, but she called me a peon and threw it back at me. Sprout moles are peculiar creatures, aren't they? Ah, uh, yes. A bowl of sweet strawberries. Would you like to eat some? Yeah. You and your friends feel like new. Now we're back on the real save, of which we are level 19. So, yay! Um, I don't think we missed anything else around. I think we pretty much got a majority of things we missed. Um, at least I'm pretty sure. Maybe not, but I think we're good to go. Um, so we have basically 100%ed this place, uh, on the actual save. Of which, uh, we are extremely overleveled, but that's okay. Now I just need to get my bearings and remember where to go. You picked up a pearl. Okay. Uh, now, hang on. What's the pearl? Important. Let's see. Pearl. Okay, well, it's not that important, apparently. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, I don't see it. Here. Where is it? Is it in a... Is it equipable? Let's see. Pearl. Pearl, pearl, pearl. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, wait, no. We're supposed to give it to someone, I believe. Ugh! It's been too long. Oh, I need to check with Mari. Well, hello there, Aubrey. Looking cute today as a sprout mole. You always take such good care of your hair. Okay, we might just have to run around a little bit. <laughs> you know what? I remember this being an issue where I was just lost. But I mean, there's only so many places to walk around. Actually, that's probably some of the reason why the old video was so long. is because I was just running around like a headless chicken trying to figure out where to go. So, I guess we're... Well, actually, this looks... You picked up a pearl. Oh. Oh, no. A music machine. Isn't this, uh... Captain Space Boy's music? Where do you want to go? The Chambers. Oh. Well, that's not scary that her eyes turn red. Okay, haven't been here before. Huh. <laughs> okay, she. Oh! What are you doing in here? Common Spradbells aren't allowed in Sweetheart's Chambers. You know the rules. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Perhaps you will be able to help me. Sweetheart ordered me to move this statue out of her bedroom before she returns, but I can't get it to move at all. If only this thing was suddenly and conveniently smashed in itty bitty pieces. <laughs> well, ma'am, what it sounds like to me is that you're in need of some destruction. And Aubrey here happens to be a destruction specialist. Aubrey? Well, that is a very strange name for a sprout mole. Then again, Sweetheart has been running out of new names as to give as of late. Uh, 
Uh, wait, Cal. Isn't this a statue of Captain Spaceboy? I would feel bad about destroying it, especially after you gave me that free snow cone pass. <laughs> it's not like he's ever going to know. Captain Spaceboy's sweetheart, or think of the past. Live and let live. That's what I always say. You don't always say that. <sighs> but fine, I guess I can give it a shot. Okay, here I go. This time, I won't fail. Ah! <laughs> Got it. Hmm. Mm. My word! You've done it! Well, time to clean this up. Wow, she made it spick and span like it was never there. You're real lifesavers. Oh, no, that's... <laughs> we're going back into Sweetheart is what we're doing now. <laughs> I should have known not to just leave... Nah, I should have known to just leave this task to the specialist. Okay, fine, I guess it's Aubrey's voice now. All right. Oh. Uh... Is Castella moving this, or is it moving on its own? Oh my... <laughs> what? You couldn't pick that? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you could... What? Okay. My, my, well, this is a surprise. Turns out all I had to do was lift from the bottom. Oh my god. <laughs> how do you lift the bottom? Pearl. Nice. Poetry. By Sweetheart. Can we read it? Ah, oh, a day. And a day it was. Such a lovely day. <coughs> Poetry. By Sweetheart. That's it? That That's, that's the poem? <laughs> that's such a... What is that poem? That's so bad. A bunch of books, but all of the pages are glued shut. Hmm. Mirror, can we see ourselves? A large vanity for Sweetheart's poltritudinous face. Right. An old grandfather clock. On closer inspection, it doesn't seem to be working. A statue made in the likeness of an obnoxious-looking person. Okay. Let's see. A magnificently large pink bed. Would you like to sleep here with your friends? <laughs> yeah, why not? Let's just take a nap in Sweetheart's bed. That healed us? You and your friends feel like new. You found a body pillow. What? A body pillow? Hang on. I gotta find this this here body pillow. Uh, uh, it's gotta be a weapon then, yeah? Oh! Oh, dude, this coconut is way better. Okay, well, uh, less luck, but look at that juice and attack. Okay, yeah, no, 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 no. The coconut's way better. Even though I like the meteor, because it has more luck, eh, you know. Foxtail plus 15 speed. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Um, watering pail. Oh, right. Okay. So that's two of the things. That's two of the things I didn't show that we did. Um, we went and watered Basil's flowers because as I was walking by, um, a bunch of the flowers were dead again. And since they just give random stat ups, I figured maybe we should just check on it every now and again. So, uh, we watered most of the flowers, and then we went to Otherworld, or we went to the moon, and we recycled a bunch of stuff, and I believe that's where we got Aubrey's goggles, which is, uh, it gives a little bit of luck, a little bit of defense, and a bit of hit rate. Well, a bit of hit rate. It gives, like, 200 hit rate. But, um, 
Yeah, it was overall pretty good. Oh! Life-sized and huggable, yet suspicious. Is that Sweetheart? I think it is. I think I can see a bow. Why does Sweetheart have a body pillow of herself? Okay. You know what? We'll just, uh... We'll just have Aubrey lug that around, you know? Why not? <laughs> yeah, we'll just... We'll, we'll attack people with a freaking body pillow. A strawberry cake that smells like rosemary. You want to take a bite? Yeah. Oh. Bad idea? You got jam packets. What? Wait. Where are you getting so many stuff? I, I can't... Okay, jam packets. Infused with the spirits of life. Revive all spirits. All friends that are toast. Wow. Okay. Uh, that's pretty solid. Anything secret around here? Nope. Guess not. Strawberry cake. You want to take a bite? Yum. Whoa! Uh... <laughs> Tea. A pink porcelain tea set. And she loves the color pink. I think her and Sally would get along. By the way, a painting of Captain Space Boy. Fruit juice has been splashed all over it. There's also like a dart in the wall. Fruit juice. It's not for kids. <laughs> it's wine. <laughs> Ooh. You got a teapot. Hero learn tea time. Wait, what? Skills, hero, tea time. Hang on. Uh, tea time. Heals some of a friend's heart and juice. Bro, what? Now, we actually have homemade jam on him, I believe, from leveling up. Uh, you know what? Instead of charm, let's do tea time. Yeah, let's do tea time. Hero, the ultimate support. Do we have a new weapon for him? Hang on. Gotta check. Uh, frying pan. Oh, yeah, the teapot. Way more juice, a lot less health, and one less attack. Ah. You know what? I, um... Well... Nah, that extra juice is kind of a big deal, but man, that's a lot of reduced health. Hmm. And snacks restore more heart. Uh, you know, okay, we're going to leave the frying pan on, at least for now. For right now. Sweetheart's private getaway. Can we sit on it? Dang it. <laughs> Pink porcelain tea set. Okay. I uh, was not expecting to invade her bedroom, first thing. Oh, I almost missed these. Peach soda. Orange juice. Tasty soda. Oh, I think Sweetheart's been uh, lacking on her diet. Stop, imposters! I know what you are. And you are not sprout moles. Mm -hmm. You must be wondering how I am able to tell. You see, I'm a son of the fabled warrior of legend, Sir Maximus. You may have bested my father, but I am stronger than he. Oh, that's something we missed. <laughs> we fought a boss named Sir Maximus, except he was really easy <laughs> because we're so overleveled. Um, so this is his son. Okay, so that's, that's like the one thing in Sweetheart's Castle that I think we missed. With my impressive lineage and my father by my side, I will be victorious. On guard! Oh no. He's super serious. Oh my god. <laughs> well, so be it. Deals damage to a foe. Amori and the foe become sad. Uh, could hack away. Angry. Hack away! 
And then... Power hit. Yeah. And then... Now, you know what? Just go for a regular attack. And then hero... Reduce attack. It's almost too easy. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Look at that big damage. Bam! You didn't need that defense, did you? Ow, 14 damage. That's like 10% of my health. How could you do that to me? Oh, wow, we, <laughs> we didn't actually do all that much damage. By the way, um... The flex run and gun thing, apparently, according to you guys, it's called something called it's called something known as the Kel Nuke, and apparently, it's like the strongest combo in the game. Uh, I didn't know that upon first discovering it. But now that I know what it is, I'm debating if we want to keep using it, because we're already super over-leveled. So, I'm thinking maybe we shouldn't use the strongest thing. No, I cannot let my father's death be in vain. Look at him, Mari. You got this. Huh? <laughs> Amori still didn't notice Aubrey, so she attacks harder. <laughs> oh no. Sir Maximus uses his father's ultimate attack. Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. Wow. Oh, Kel's almost dead. Whoa. Okay. Well. Hey, you gotta go. Alright. Uh. Tea time. Uh, 185. Farmer, forgive me. I'm sorry. I have failed you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you found Tofu. Well, okay. Ay, ay, ay. Legit, almost killed Kel. Okay, so we, uh, maybe we should have taken him a little bit more seriously, but... Other than that... Oh, um, we also dropped a bunch of coins into here. And it didn't do anything. But, uh, uh, But, you know what? We did... Uh, we did it. So, yeah. Um, so I'm trying to think of what to do. Because I'm, I'm still a little bit lost, and Mari hasn't exactly told us. But it's probably something super obvious that I'm just kind of overlooking. But I'm going to just recover our health, because... Yikes! Okay, these have to be used for something. Like, may oh, maybe we recycle them? I... Hmm. Oh, Pearl. Uh... Pretty calcium that's used in jewelry can be sold for clams. Oh, is that it? Apparently we have eight of them, so we've been doing pretty good at collecting them. Um, have we been here? Oh, it's hard to remember. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we've been here. We, uh, this is where we got the perfect song. I think there were... Actually, no, no, now I'm remembering. There used to be a pearl in here, but then we dealt with it. Um, we bit that cake and got transported to, like, another grassy room, like the one we saw in Sweetheart's, uh, bedroom. Oh! What? What? What did I just do? What? 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 Uh... <laughs> okay. Um, I think I just found a secret room. I was literally just running around bumping into stuff, and I think we found something. Maybe this is where we need to go. Oh, what is with the droning music? I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's pretty quiet, but, um, 
A uh, little bit of a creepy room. And it looks like we're back in the dungeon. So maybe this is just like a shortcut? That's kind of what I'm thinking. Oh. It was like whispering now. Oh, and it's getting louder. Oh, can we interact with this? No. Oh, what in the world? Uh-oh. It's another one of these areas. You are brave to speak to me, young ones. Tell me, are you enjoying Sweetheart's Castle? That girl, she was an elaborate one. This dwelling, it takes the shape of one's deepest desires. A place to return to. Somewhere to call home. Sweetheart came to me a long time ago. A poor girl from a desert and begged me on her knees to make this place hers. I gave her what she desired. A castle full of riches, servants for her to command, a stage for her to flaunt her power. Yet, she still wants more. It must be a curse. Soon, she will leave and not return. I know this. And when I have deemed that she has found her home elsewhere, I will look for a new owner. At that time, return to me. You with the empty eyes. Your soul is split. But you can only choose one path. It will be interesting to see what you will make of this dwelling. You with the empty eyes, Amori? Okay, well, he didn't say anything unique when we talked to him as Amori. That little great is so weird. Or is it just trying to hint that the door is here? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Bit strange. <laughs> Little bit weird, but that's alright. Okay, so this was just like a bonus area? I was kind of hoping that this would be progress, but maybe it's progress in its own way. Huh. <sighs> Back to Sweetheart's Castle. Much better. I prefer the lovely atmosphere. Smash! 25 clams. 25 clams. And nothing. All right, the library. And then... <laughs> oh, yeah, this is pretty funny. An uncomfortably realistic Sweetheart doll. I bring Sweetheart with me wherever I go. Say hello, sweetheart. <laughs> That's so weird. Oh, who are you? Popcorn girl. Hey, uh, you want some popcorn? It's 80 clams. Yeah. Yeah, here you go. It's popcorn. I assume we, we had to have bought some earlier, right? Snacks. Pop. Pop, 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 pop. Popcorn. Nine out of ten den <laughs> dentists hate it. What do you mean? Oh, because it gets stuck in your teeth. Ha <laughs> ha. I get it. Restores 25 hearts to, to everyone. Any secrets? Apparently, all walls are can just be false. So, I guess we need to walk around and slam into more walls. Oh, right. Eh, nah, we don't really need healing right now. I guess we go into the library. There's gotta be something we missed in here. Oh. Other than a giant line. Hi. Well, it's been a while since I've seen you, huh? Out to no good again, I presume. 
Have you learned your lesson after venturing out of the tunnels? Next time, you won't be so lucky. Oh, she's <laughs> commenting on the mask. We'll just, uh, we'll ignore that. Oi! <gasps> There's a pearl! How dare they make me wait? I'm an esteemed guest! How dare they make me wait? I'm an esteemed guest. Oh, but there's a pearl up there. It's gotta be a way. How dare they make me wait? I'm an esteemed guest. <laughs> Dang it. Bunch of books. All the pages are glued shut. Okay, there's definitely a puzzle here. Oh yeah, look, because there's the cake over there. Okay. Alright, there's definitely something here. Okay. Well, what if we go around... You. I don't know what I've been told. Sweetheart's love is good as gold. Alright, great. Amazing. Bunch of books. Hey, can you, like... Scoot over? Can I convince you to move? I don't know what I've been told. Sweetheart's love is good as gold. Bunch of books. Okay, there's definitely stuff in here. Let me go. God dang it. Freaking origin. Ahem. This is not strawberry syrup. It's blood. <laughs> it's probably wine. Hmm. Okay, there's definitely a puzzle here. So, let's look around. There's definitely something, right? Actually, can we move him with, uh, Kel? I was kind of thinking maybe Hero could talk him into moving, but I guess not. Okay. Um... There's definitely something, right? I mean, there's so much stuff to get in here. Maybe we'll make the girls move. Or Oh, wait. Or no, we can't get up on that ladder. Dang it. Yeah, there's something up there. Hey, can you, like, scoot over? Dang it. Oh, <laughs> I don't think I've seen that one before. Hi. Excuse me. Excuse me? Dang it. Let's light him on fire. Pyong? You, can you, like, scoot? No? Okay. Ah! Hmm. I feel like I'm missing something really obvious. What is this? <laughs> what is this? <sighs> what? It's just a bunch of sprout bowls stacked on top of each other. Is that actual sweetheart? Because it doesn't look like it's a. It's like three sprout bowls stacked on top of each other. Oh, what in the world? <laughs> it's, it's, it's so weird. Wow, what a great movie. <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, that happened. Yeah, that's, uh, hmm. <laughs> that is something. <laughs> what? Okay, let's not talk about that again. Um, huh, well, uh, still can't figure out what I'm doing. I mean, I feel like there's something in this room, but, like, it's just totally, oh, wait, oh my god, uh, am I actually that dumb? Unbelievable. Oh, I have a question for you. Do you think ghosts would be considered a gas? No? I don't think so. Bunch of books. Ugh, oh, unreal. I cannot believe I'm that stupid. Okay. 
Oh my, there's simply no time to admit entry to all these unruly guests. It all goes to show that we must never underestimate the popularity of our dear sweetheart. You there, servants with the ugly faces. The upcoming main event has a strict dress code. It is of utmost importance that our audience is dressed to sweetheart's exact specifications. Here is a simple chart that even an non sprout mole could understand. Pink? Good. Everything else? Bad. <laughs> Kindly ask the lesser guests to follow you and bring them to me. You can do something that simple, can't you? Probably. I want that pearl. Give me that pearl. Yeah! How dare they make me wait? I'm an esteemed guest. Do you want to ask this sprout mole to follow you? Yeah. Come here. Greetings, esteemed guest. Please follow me as your presence is urgently required. Why, of course, you look like a clean, upstanding gentleman. <laughs> he has joined the party. Okay, anything not pink comes. How dare they make me wait? I'm an esteemed guest. You want to? Yeah, come here. Greetings, follow me. Me? They have got to make an exception. I must go to show them a piece of my mind. Dang, I knew I picked the wrong tie. My presence is required? Of course it is. The laws of this land are cruel. Do I have to stand in another line? Technically. Oh, I just wanted to see my only son. Where do I gotta go? Okay, but you have to explain what's going on. Am I finally getting set a stage? This is big boys to Alpha 3. The jig is up. Abort the mission. Bzz. Fine. Of course, the staff is wonderful here. Hello. Splendid! I knew you had it in you. Now we can finally get rid of these unpinkish guests. Guards! Escort these sprout moles to the dungeon! Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of sprout moles being taken to the dungeon. And that takes care of that. Those unpinkish guests will never see the light of day again. Uh. Nice? Going back to Aubrey. Yeah! Best character. You got a book. Okay. Uh, nothing there. Let's see. Oh, and the guards move too. Ha ha ha! You got an interesting book. It's interesting. Oh, okay. We take that to the forest and give it to Sir Books McGee. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, something up here? Nope. Alrighty. Let's see. What else can we grab? Anything? Ooh! Ooh, we can grab this now. You got a poetry book. Huh. Okay. Hi. It's about it. Up to no good again. Have you learned your lesson after we figure out the ten? Next time we won't be so lucky. Okay, so we're good to go. So, I think that's all to do here. So now, where the heck... It was... Ah... Uh, it was hard enough figuring this out. Now what else do we need to do? I'm pretty sure we've gone this way. Yeah, this is like a ballroom. There's people dancing here. Oh. And then one of us can just stand here with the crown. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we've already been here. Basically, this is a... <laughs> this is a wall of art. Where Sweetheart replaced herself with uh, some pretty known... Pictures. Uh, oh no, not again. <laughs> oh no. Alright, here we go again. Stop, imposters! I know what you are, and you are not sprout moles. Mm -hmm. You must be wondering how I am able to tell. 
You see, I am a son of the fabled warrior of legend, Sir Maximus the Second, and grandson of Sir Maximus. You may have bested my father and grandfather, but that has only fueled my rage and thirst for vengeance. With my impressive lineage and my father and grandfather by my side, I will be victorious and avenge my family. On guard! <laughs> How many times are we gonna have to do this? <laughs> well... You did it to yourself. Um, power hit. Uh, we're going to flex, but maybe not run and gun. Reduce his attack. Hey. Let's see how you get through this. Oh yeah! Uh, 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 uh. Big hits. Lower that defense. Excellent. That's what I like to see. Remembers the dying words of... <laughs> That's so sad. However, um... Uh... Hmm. Well, I don't want you to be sad because you take a lot less damage. Uh... Hmm. You know what? I will run and gun just because he's got that going. And then we'll do a tiny bit of damage here. Uh, yeah, that didn't do nearly as much. Could slow him down. I don't think we will, though. You can do it! There we go. He has a... bit higher of a chance to crit us, but it's okay. Bam! Defense down. That's the one that matters. Um, yeah, so let's attack, attack. Um... Regular attack, and then I'm gonna go for tea time on Kel. Okay, when it's Aubrey's turn, we're gonna look at Amori. That way we get a double hit. No, I cannot let my father's and his father's death be in vain. Oh, he's sad again. <laughs> Little unfortunate, that's okay. We got our damage in where we could get it. Hi, how you doing? Do you see me? No? Hiya! <laughs> Well, if you don't have any juice, you won't be able to attack us. Man, that recovers a lot! Man, tea time's pretty good. Okay, let's, uh... You know what? Headbutt. Let's flex. And... You know what? Let's do a snack, and let's recover a little bit of health for everybody with, uh, popcorn. Oh, yeah! Wish we could make him angry. Honestly, we should probably put angry back on Aubrey. That way her headbutt does way more. <laughs> Popcorn. Popcorn, just for you. Uh oh. Oh no. You can't do that. <laughs> it just flexed. Oh no. Deals damage. We gotta make him sad. We gotta make him sad. ASAP. Power hit. Uh. Regular attack. Uh oh. Smile. <laughs> oh no, he's running and getting! <laughs> Take him down! Oh no! Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh my god! <laughs> that did so much damage! Oh. Ay, ay, ay. Aubrey almost died. Good thing she didn't go for headbutt. She would have probably killed herself. He's still alive! Please! Just... He has, like, one health! Just kill him! Kill him! Oh, just summon to kill him. Okay. <sighs> Father. Grandfather. I'm sorry. I have failed you. Oh my god. The third one is... the f No, the fourth one is gonna get a kill on us. <laughs> so much for being overleveled. Hey, shun. Megaphone. Uh, captivate. Interesting. 
Oh, Aubrey didn't hit 20? What? Oh. Hey, is it just me or does it seem quieter all of a sudden? Wasn't there a crowd of sprout moles at the entrance earlier? I don't see them around anywhere. They must have finally pushed their way outside. Let's follow them, Amari. Maybe they can lead us out of here. Ah, good idea. Finally, a little bit of direction. Don't do it. Uh, aha! Okay, we we have to we have to heal and save first. That is a uh, <laughs> getting a little bit scary. All right, so we're gonna make this a little bit of an extra long episode since it has been an especially long time since we got an Amori episode. So. Let's see what the courtyard has to offer, and then I think that'll be it for this episode. That's so many flamingos! Oh wow. It is positively buzzing out here. There's so many! So many sprout balls! Ooh, a button. Oh, you know we gotta go press that. <sighs> that guy's a slowpoke. Bit of a slow man in in it. Bit slow. Woohoo! We're finally out of Sweetheart's Castle! I wonder what's up with that big event everyone is preparing for. Strange. I don't see the sprout balls from the entrance anywhere. Where could they all have gone? There must be a hidden exit somewhere. Or they went to the dungeon. Let's poke around at anything that looks suspicious. Um, well, I want to push that button, first and foremost. Oh my, oh man, this is a big area. Oh, I see, it's also not going to be... Oh! Ouch, that hurt! Is everyone okay? What happened? Ugh. That sweetheart Toppy area just fired a laser at us. Hmm. There's just gotta be a way to get rid of these guys. Oh, I see. Okay, I think I understand. Bird! Nope. Oh! I didn't see that one. Our health at, at, mm, our health actually goes down from that. Ooh. Uh, hang on. Okay, alright. So what if... We go to Kel. And then Kel... All right, sweetheart, you asked for this. Hiya! Oh, <laughs> his face. Dang, I missed. Oh, silly kill. You're not gonna knock out anything throwing like that. Why don't you try aiming for once? Huh? Aim? I could do that. Of course. Even you can aim, Kel. All right, I'll give it my best shot. Oh, no. All right, we got this. Uh! Oh, wait, wait. Yeah. Got him. Okay, there's one. So now, we can go over there. And we can get onto this one. Okay. All right, we got this. This one. Uh! Again. Uh, got him. Got her. Uh, so now we can go this way. I haven't been looking for any secrets. Gotta be honest. Uh, totally blind to anything that might be around. <laughs> Hopefully we haven't missed anything super important by me doing that. Boom. Alright. And this seems like a special fight. On guard! Brian the Distinguished. Careful where you tread. You are in the presence of one of Sweetheart's distinguished elites. I will guard the wisdom of this castle with my life. You hear that, Brian? You're one of Sweetheart's distinguished elites. <laughs> oh, no! Uh, the Reese's Party rolls initiative. 
It's a natural one! Oh my god. Wow. Yikes, you gotta get better at rolling, my friends. Yikes! Uh, rebound! Meh. Bink, bonk, bunk. Oh my god! Double crit! Oh, you love to see it! One on each. Oh! Wow! Take him out! Hi! Huh? <laughs> God, it's just so good! I just like. <laughs> Hi! And then. Uh, two down! Ow! Ooh, 26 damage. That's actually quite a bit. Death. 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 More death. All right, you asked for it. What can I say? We're just that good. Tofu. Hey, all right, now Aubrey is level 20. Wind up throw? What is wind up throw? Uh, wind up throw. Damage all enemies. You sold me. Deals more damage the less enemies there are. Yes, yeah, still sold me. Wind up throw. <laughs> uh, ignores defense. Makes a friend or foe happy. Mood wrecker. Deals extra damage to happy foes. You know what? Mood wrecker. Uh, pep talk. Yeah. Yeah, that, that seems good. Um, and then... What's Captivate? Axe first. All targets target hero for one turn. <laughs> I mean... It could be good. But we need hero to be a lot tankier if we're gonna do that, I think. Um, shun. Deals damage. If the foe is sad, greatly reduce its defense. Ew. Interesting. Okay, hang on. Uh, if the foe is angry, ignores defense when Amori is sad. Okay, I guess we're just making Mo Amori a uh, single target nuke then. Kind of like Kel. <laughs> so what did he get? Megaphone. Make all friends angry. Make all friends angry? Hmm. Uh, I, well, no, that, okay, in the right circumstance, that could be pretty good. So let's see, can't go to the right. Oh. Oh. Oh my, there are so many rare bears in here. Dude, there's so many rare bears! Wait a minute, rare bears actually hit like trucks. Yeah, rare bears actually hit like trucks. Do you want to release the creatures? Uh, <laughs> well, uh, uh, after we save, after we save. Um, rare bears are actually like really dangerous for memory. Yeah, after we uh, do all the puzzles and save, then we'll we'll re release the rare bears. Ah, uh, nice button. Okay, those are down. Shrub. Nope. Boop. You got the tomato or the tomato, depends who you ask. Is that a horse head? Okay. Sure. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Hello. Helen. Uh, hi. I'm, like, super busy standing here being one of the Calamitous Elite and all. Can I, like, help you with something? Uh, no? <laughs> I guess not? No, 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 no. Hey, you stay away from me. Let's see. Well, let's go up here now. Uh, oh man, there's a lot. Uh, got him. One more? Oh, I could have hit it there. 
No, no, wait. Oh. Uh. Ah. Got it. Okay. Now, let's head up that way. Something? No. Something? Nuh uh. You got a waffle. <laughs> and in the morning, I'm making waffles. <laughs> Uh. Oh. Well, this is awkward. Oh! Okay, hang on, hang on. So, we gotta go down, and then. We gotta go down to go up! So, we go this way. And then here. Oh, I could've hit it there. Boom! Got it. Okay. I also want to see what the giant mushroom is all about. A suspicious looking mushroom. Would you like to take a bite? That sounds like a horrible idea. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I don't know. That might have been a mistake. You? Bulbous one, your eyes, they tell me that you yearn to learn. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I will teach you. Come. Hmm, you do not have the same eyes, same sparkle in your eyes as the bulbous one. He is the only one I will teach. Bulbous? Amori? You have come! Excellent! Now observe. The hard bulbs like the one behind me hold creatures like me. However, we are unable to escape by our own means. With a very specific and intricate cutting technique, one would be able to release us from our buddy fate. However, this technique takes years, perhaps even decades, to master. If you agree to learn it, there's no telling how long this will take. Yet with time, I believe you will do great things. Are you ready to take on the challenge and become my disciple? Yeah. Amori trained for a long time. <laughs> excellent! Excellent, excellent, You've grown so much, unlike this bulb behind me. Now, cut it using your perfected technique so that it may live. I am free! Excellent, excellent, excellent! Take this, it's a gift from me! You got a dandelion. Excellent, 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 excellent! Can I jump on- Oh! Yes. You got jam packets! Oh, nice. Thanks. Alright, catch you later. Okay! Uh... <laughs> Okay, we took that one out, so now we can go all the way back, up, and around, and over to you. As a member of the esteemed elite, I have a special code word to hide, but you probably won't any know anything about that. Flamingo. Alright, spikes are down. Uh, what was the point of this? <laughs> what? <laughs> what was the point of this one? There's like nothing to unlock here. Okay. That's fine. Um, I want to get around him, but... Yeah! Oh, there's another. Okay. We got this. Oh! Oh! Hey! Back to the garden. Oh, back to Kel. Aha! Uh, was that a new one? Are these new ones? I swear I haven't seen some of these. Weird. Weird. Okay. Maybe I just don't um, change that often. Maybe, maybe that's the game telling me, hey, you're playing too much Aubrey. <laughs> you can never play too much Aubrey. Let's see. Unless, of course, 
you could play as Basil. I would 100% of the time be playing as Basil if you could play as Basil. Unfortunately, we don't even have Basil, so, you know. That dream is crushed before it even began. Uh, man, what's up with all the birds and flamingos? Birds and flamingos! Freaking... <laughs> Uh, oh, no. Hey, you! Protecting the... Carol. Protecting the sacred password is an arduous task. Perhaps one day you find mole, young moles will carry the same burden of the illustrious elite. Is there a puzzle here? What is... There... Okay, there's a puzzle here. There, there's like nothing. There's, there's something. There's something. Okay. Like, I don't know what it is, but there's absolutely something. Do you want to have tea with your friends? Yeah. <laughs> they, they put on a hat. Oh no. And I think they're being waited on by a little mole. Let's see, Kel's kicking his feet, Amori's just curled up, Aubrey has on a very stylish hat, and Kel, er, uh, Hero is pouring tea into a mask. Very cool. <laughs> very cool. Oh. An impressive statue of Sweetheart casts a discomforting shadow over the garden. Oh. Oh no, not another Sir Maximus. Ah, the statue came to life? What's the password? Uh. Uh, beautiful? And. Uh. Flamingo. And... Oh, no. Uh... Inhaling? And... Elevator. You said beautiful flamingo inhaling elevator. Uh-oh. WRONG! <laughs> oh my god! Ow! That did half our health! <laughs> what? What's the deal? <laughs> okay, so we need to figure out the freaking... Oh, is it their titles? Wait, yeah, Helen the Calamitous. Oh, but, ah, uh, I'm supposed to hold on to the super secret password and everything, right? But, like, it's about food, so now I'm just thinking about food all the time. It makes me so hungry. I've started chewing on the grass to curb my appetite. Can you believe it? They should really start providing food to the guards around here. And, like... What kind of password is Donut, anyway? As in, like, that stupid pet name that weird blue guy always called Sweetheart or something? Please. That's no secret at all. Anyone could guess that. They were always walking around here, acting all couple-y, calling each other names like that back and forth, saying like, Why don't you make me ask you to marry you yet? And, I'm sorry, my friends are done approve of this relationship all the time. Ugh. So annoying. But whatever, I'm still stuck here guarding the passwords with those three other guards. Those guys couldn't keep a secret to save their life. Huh, that's right. Pity me if you want. See if I, like, care. Here I am, trapped here in this lonely little corner in the garden, guarding the word donut, of all things. Jeez Louise. Hey, thanks. <laughs> I thought it was their title. I was like... I was like, oh, the illustrious. So it's got to be one of the passwords is illustrious. Nope, it's donut. 
There are four passwords that must be spoken to Sweetheart, to the Sweetheart statue, to unveil the secret tunnel. Naturally, as one of the chosen elite, I've been given the responsibility of guarding the second of four. You want to know the password, eh? Not so fast there, buddy. I gotta say, you're awfully tall for a sprout mole. How do I know if you really are one of us highly intelligent and majestic creatures? You think I'd ever spill the password to a potential spy? Ha! Don't make me laugh. If you're so sure you're Sprout Mole, why don't you prove it? I'll tell you the password if you can guess what I am thinking about right now. Tofu. Oh. Mmm, delicious tofu. <laughs> I apologize for ever doubting you. I guess there are all kinds of Sprout Moles around here. Now, lean in closer. The password that I have been entrusted with is... Jelly. You got that? Promise you won't tell anyone, okay? I promise. Except for the statue. I'll tell the statue and that's it. <laughs> Jelly Donut? Oh my god. Uh, I think Sweetheart likes Jelly Donuts. There are four passwords that must be spoken to the Sweetheart statue. Uh, and I got the third. Uh, you want to know the password? Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Huh? You really need it? Like, you really, really need it? Like, you really, really, really need it? Like, you really, 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 really need it? Hmm. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I guess I have no choice then. We have to promise not to tell anyone? Pinky swear on it! You don't have pinkies. And done. Whew, I was worried you might have been someone untrustworthy. Now, leaning closer. The password I've been entrusted with is filled. You got that? I promise you won't tell anyone, okay? Jelly filled donut? Oh my god. Is it going to be glazed? Glazed jelly filled donut? Oh, I, dude, I swear if I just guessed what the freaking thing is going to be called, I'm going to be so just, ugh. There are four, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I have the four. It's a beautiful, <laughs> I thought it was, it's a beautiful day outside. <laughs> the birds are singing. <laughs> kids like these, on, on days like these, kids like you should be, <laughs> uh, whatever. Does anyone even get that reference anymore? It's a beautiful day out in the garden, isn't it, brothers and sisters? Ah, you're saying you would like to know of the password? I apologize. I'm afraid that is not in my jurisdiction. Though, I suppose something tasty, off-white, and cubish may change my mind. Yes. Oh... Delicious, irresistible tofu. I suppose I could let it slip. Just as once. Now, leaning closer. The password I've been entrusted with is... Sweet. You got that? Promise you won't tell anyone, okay? Well, alright, I, I feel like I had a pretty good guess with Glazed. But apparently it's sweet? Uh-oh. Sweet jelly filled donut. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, excuse me. Oh, yeah. That was close. Hello. What's the password? Sweet. And. Jelly and filled and donut. You said sweet jelly filled donut. 
Hmm. Fine! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh. oh, I thought she's like watching us because the eyes are still going. Okay. So, I think that is going to do it for this episode of Amori. <sighs> Overall, we got a ton of progress in this episode. And we caught up on our progress. So, I am feeling relatively happy about that. So, <laughs> I believe that is going to do it for this episode of Amori. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you for your patience when it comes to the series. I know it's been a hot minute, but now that we've actually caught up and we're back on track for completely new stuff, I will be sure <sighs> and continue. So, <laughs> um, I don't know. Well, no. Well, um... I was gonna say, I don't know how close we are to the end of the game, but I'd imagine not very. So, we're probably still gonna be going on for a while. Um, I'm thinking the episodes will be on the longer side. That way we can just get as much progress as possible. Because um, I know some of you guys have been really missing this series. Uh, especially because it seemed like I abandoned it for a time. So... We are just going to continue as normal, as if that giant break didn't happen. So, thank you guys so much for watching. We don't have a mirror to stand by, otherwise that's where I would be ending the episode. But I appreciate you spending some time with me, and I appreciate the patience when it comes to the series. So, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.